In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve integrals where integration by parts creates a cycle. We're going to start off by performing substitution on this integral, just to simplify it a bit. We'll set y equals x over 2, and then dy equals a half dx, and also x equals 2y, and dx equals 2dy. Um, so that way, we can simplify this integral to ln y to the fourth over 2 times 2y times 2 dy, which just becomes ln y to the fourth over 2y dy. All right, now we're ready to do integration by parts. Uh, in order to do integration by parts, we're going to rewrite the integral a little bit so it looks like two terms. So that's 1 over 2y times ln y to the fourth dy. Um, and we'll choose u as this natural log part here. u equals ln y to the fourth. So then u prime equals 4 ln y to the third over y. And then v prime will be the other part. v prime equals 1 over 2y, which means that v is a half ln y. And then using integration by parts, we can write our integral as u, which is ln y to the fourth times v, a half ln y, and then minus the integral of v, which is a half ln y times um, times u prime, which is 4 ln y cubed over y. And that's all dy. All right, so let's simplify this a little bit. This is a half ln y to the fifth minus the integral of 2 ln y to the fourth over y dy. And let's, let's take that up here for a little bit more space. And we're going to write this integral so it looks a little bit more like the original integral here. Um, so this, this becomes, um, let's, let's just keep that original integral too. So uh, ln y to the fourth over 2y dy equals a half ln y to the fifth minus 4 times ln y to the 4 over 2y dy. So now um, let's call this integral i just to ease the notation a bit. So i just equals a half ln y to the fifth minus 4i. We rewrote this integral so it looked like the original one so that we can set up an equation that we can solve for i. So we'll add 4i to both sides and get 5i equals a half ln y to the fifth. So i equals one-tenth ln y to the fifth, and we'll add our constant of integration also. Um, and then we just need to back substitute for y. So really i equals one over tenth um, ln of y is x over two, and all that to the fifth, plus some constant. And that is our integral. Here's another example, and this one's going to get uh, pretty messy, but hang in there and we'll get through it. Uh, it's going to involve two rounds of integration. In the, in the first round of integration by parts, we'll set um, u equals sine of 2x plus 1, and then u prime equals 2 cos of 2x plus 1, and then we'll set v prime equal to e to the 2x, which means that v equals a half e to the 2x. All right, now we can write this integral using integration by parts, and that's u, uh, so sine 2x plus 1 times v, so times a half e to the 2x, 
minus the integral of v again, one half e to the two x times u prime, which is two cos two x plus one, and that is all dx. All right, so now let's let's simplify this a bit. So this is a half e to the two x sine two x plus one minus the integral of e to the two x cos two x plus one. And now this integral we can uh, we can turn it back to look like the original integral using another round of integration by parts. So we're going to move that up over here e to the two x cos two x plus one dx our u will be cosine u equals cos 2x plus 1 and then our u prime will be negative 2 sine 2x plus 1 and then v will be the or v prime will be the other term v prime equals e to the 2x which means that v equals half e to the 2x and using integration by parts will We'll express this integral as u times v, so cosine of 2x plus 1 times v is a half e to the 2x minus the integral of v, which is half e to the 2x times u prime, so times negative 2 sine 2x plus 1 dx. All right, now we can simplify this a bit. So that's a half e to the 2x cos 2x plus 1 and plus the integral of e to the 2x sine 2x plus 1. And let's plug all this in for our original integral over here. So this is one half e to the two x sine two x plus one minus all that stuff. So we can just distribute the negative sign. So minus minus a half e to the two x cos two x plus one, and then minus that integral of e to the two x sine two x plus one. Okay, now we can say that this original integral is i. So we've got i equals, and then this integral will also turn into i because it's the same as the original integral. So i equals, uh, why don't we also simplify the expression while we're at it? Uh, we can take a half e to the 2x um, and group that sine 2x plus 1 minus cos 2x plus 1 and then this term will just be i minus i okay so now we just need to solve for i so 2i equals a half e to the 2x times sine 2x plus 1 minus cosine 2x plus 1 and then i we just need to divide by 2 so a fourth e to the 2x sine 2x plus 1 minus cosine of 2x plus 1 and don't forget about our constant of integration so plus c at the end and there we go we're finally done there's the solution to our original integral this was pretty messy but in the future, we'll see how to make some integration by parts problems easier using complex numbers instead of integration by parts.